Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. It's currently 12 o'clock at night, uh, low tide at half two, and we're about half a mile in a spot that I've always wanted to fish for gilthead. So fingers crossed they're around. I've been, I've been craving a bit of gilthead fishing. I've got some prime bait. I'm gonna start off with the run and ledger rigs, move on to the flapper rigs as the tide starts coming up. And hopefully between all that, we can get a nice big golden bar. So stay tuned, it's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! So all I've got on, guys, just a little zip slider there to a bead, nice size barrel swivel, 25 pound trace of about two and a half foot to a 3 0 hook, a very strong one as well. So, and the weight I'm using, I've just got a watch sled, but any old weight will do because I'm only sort of uh, flicking it out about 20 yards. And the baits I've got with me today, I've got some nice salted rag there. I've got scallop frills, I've got loads of razor clam as well and then I've got a little bit of squid just in case I get low on bait that I'll throw out for a bass but at the moment I'm just going to chop and change between oh sorry and I've got a massive bag of gaper clams as well and these are prime baits so what I'm going to start with I'm just going to put a couple of razor clam on the hook with a bit of ragworm and then get them both out just to get started and see if we can nab a bass What I like to do to bait these up is just get the first part on the hook and you can lay it backwards just like so, get the head on and what you can do is just lay it along the hook nice and streamlined and get your bait elastic it's a sort of like commando fishing today I've been really dying to get out after the gilt heads and that's what we're going to be doing Come on, you beauties. So all you're doing is just whipping this up into a nice little sausage. There you go. I like to just get the rough outline of it first. And then what I'll do, just like that. And we get a nice bit of ragworm there for the scent. And all I do is just head hook it and then similar principle to the uh, to the razor clam, you just run it over the back. Just get that one on, and there you go. Lovely little bait there with a lot of scent that would just and it gives a little bit of movement as well. So what I'm gonna do is bang that out now. I'll put a little bit more bait elastic on, make it like a sausage. And the key to this is lots of hook exposure, so the fish can just get nabbed at any point. On this one, I just decided I'm going to put a big bunch of scallop fills out there. Just because these things give a huge scent bomb. There you go. You don't need to elasticate these. If you just hook all the meaty parts and then just keep threading it on. And that will hold on there for a very long time. Even the crabs don't work this off very quickly. What I'm going to do get a bit more on there for sure that's the, that's the principle of it just load up the hook and hope for a monster as you can see guys really short cast because these fish swim in really shallow water especially at night time they come in quite close I don't know what I got on here, boy. It's a good fish. It's fighting really well. I'm just taking my time bringing it in. I've got my, uh, I've got my drag set. That was such a weird bite. Hope you can see her right in the camera. Come on, what is it? I'm staying quiet because I really don't want to lose this fish. Wow. 
Oh, it's digging in. It's giving a great fight for itself. I'm keeping my rod nice and high because there's a lot, there's a massive boulder bed where I am. Come on, I just want to see it. Oh, it's an eel. What's that to happen? Right. That's not what we wanted. I thought we might have had a... I thought we might have had a guilt head. <laughs> oh. There you go guys. Mr. Whip. <laughs> Not a bad sized conger at all. About six, seven pounder I would have thought. But uh, I really thought that was a guilt head then. It was given such a good account of itself at the start that uh, I could have swore that was a decent bass or a gilt or something like that. But hey, we get him off and we get him released. Hopefully we can get our target fish. Right. She's feisty. Mr. Eel, I really thought you were a nice gilt or something. But no. <laughs> you have to come and steal my bait. Uh, nice size eel. Alright. There you go, buddy. Off you go. Straight out. Right, hopefully we can get lucky. <laughs> 